Hi, I'm Ashwant. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top seven programming languages that are going to roll in 2021. And I have formed this list based on various factors. My personal research, Stack Overflow such as GitHub repositories and the salaries that are paying for these programming languages. And many of the people who are going to start their programming career, whether it might be a student or a professional, uh, is in a confusion that which is the best language to start with. And in this video, I'm going to clear your doubt and let's get started. So I have formed this list uh, based on various factors. So and I will start from last to the first. So number seven in the list is Go programming language. Go programming language is also called as Golang is uh, introduced by Google. So Go is mainly used for scalable server networks, programming and distributor systems. So Google introduced this programming language to program its networks, large scale networks and also its distributed systems. And nowadays Go is also uh, being used in artificial intelligence and deep complex systems. So if you are someone who wants to start with a programming language in which the syntax is easy and has a future scope, then Go is the best one. And yes, Go is also considered as a future programming language and the popularity of Go is increasing day by day. So number six in the list is Swift programming language. Swift is the programming language which is used mostly by Apple. So if you are using Apple mobile or a Mac or laptop, then the OS that you, your device has is written in Swift programming language. So yeah, it is used to program iOS operating system as well as Mac operating system. And as Apple has millions of users in the world, Swift is also gaining its popularity. And if you are someone who want to go into the field where you can write uh, operating systems for Apple or Mac, then Swift is the best choice. And remember, say so if you are not an Apple user, then Swift is not applicable for you. So you can skip this one. And number five in the list is C++. C++ is often considered as, I mean, often considered with low popularity nowadays, but it is not a fact. C++ is still having its own base uh, when coming to programming. So C++ is mainly used to write desktop level applications as well as compilers. And it is also the favorite for competitive programming for many of the coders and yes it, it, it is still being used in various complex software application building and for deep learning applications C++ is still an obvious choice to go for and yes if you are someone who wants to start with an object oriented programming language then I would suggest C++ is the best one to start with and number four in the list is R programming language. R programming language is a complete statistical oriented programming language uh, that is gaining its popularity because of its event driven uh, application programming for machine learning. So for machine learning, R is obviously the choice for many of the programmers to uh, build complex models. So if you are someone who wants to uh, start your career in machine learning or data science, then obviously R is the best programming language to start with. Also, if you are from statistics background, R is very friendly to you to, uh, to write complex codes. And also R, there are few factors that uh, one should worry about when picking an R language. The syntax of R is not that much easy and understandable. And if you are from a statistical background, functions that you use in R are much more familiar to you than non-statistical background student. And yes, it is an obvious choice if you want to go into data science side. And Number three in the list is Java programming language. So Java is evergreen. So Java has been in the industry, has been in the software application development since more than 30 years. And still Java is the most popular programming language. So even though there are, there are beliefs that Java is losing its popularity, but still companies are still opting for Java because of the large number of application developers uh, I mean, who are very much familiar with Java. So yeah, the competition for Java is also increasing day by day because there are various developers who are still good in Java. And also companies are not uh, preferring to leave Java because of the strong bonding with Java applications. Also to maintain most of the legacy systems, Java is still their choice. So still 
companies are hiring for Java developers in most of the cases. And number two in the list is JavaScript. If you are a web developer, you will not agree that JavaScript is the second most pro uh, programming language because you want it to be the top one programming language. Of course, there are reasons for that. JavaScript is initially introduced as a browser programming language, but now the scenario is completely different. So you can build a complete full stack web application using a JavaScript. So after the introduction of server side frameworks like Node.js, JavaScript has gained its popularity into a huge level. So the graph of JavaScript has been increased something like this. So and yes, uh, even in machine learning and deep learning, JavaScript has its marks now because uh, there is a framework called tensorflow.js which uses JavaScript and which allows JavaScript developers to I mean to integrate their existing projects in the side of machine learning. So JavaScript is an obvious choice if you are a web developer and you will not agree JavaScript is a top two uh, when you are in a uh, web developer because of the applications that it has and now coming into the top one. So it is obviously Python. So you may guess in the earlier itself because Python is the most popular term that you may have heard from the past two to three years. The, there are reasons for that. So the first thing is the syntax of Python is easy so that beginners may choose Python as their primary programming language. And there are few other things also to be noted down. Those are Python is diversified thing. So whatever the field you say, Python has its footpaths. So if you say web development, Python has some decent frameworks like Zango and Flask where you can use to build complex web applications. And if you say machine learning and deep learning, then ultimately Python is the primary choice for lakhs of developers. So it has a huge, I mean, huge library set day by day. Python has increasing the size of their libraries, which are making the making the development of any kind of machine learning application, any kind of machine learning model so easy. So still Python is being preferred as the most searched programming language in Google. Also, it has the more number of repositories in GitHub. Also, it has a more number of queries in Stack Overflow and even Python developers has the salary range, which is very much higher than when compared to other six. So if you want to go for any side of software development, whether it might be web development or machine learning or testing or big data, whatever it might be, Python is still the number one programming language to be noted for. And Python is very much, uh, very much helpful in dealing data. So nowadays, uh, the data that we are getting from social media and social networks is very high. So as long as the data is uh, data kept increasing, the popularity of Python will remain same. So yeah, these are all the top seven programming languages that one may look for in 2021. And if you want to start with a new programming language, pick one from the list and go ahead and start your programming journey. If you like this video, please like this video and share it to your network so that others get, others may get benefit from you. And if you are a new Vista to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon to get notifications of all my video releases. Also do follow me in social media. So I have included my links in description of my Instagram and LinkedIn channels so that we can stay connected. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.